In at number 10, Jesse Spencer and Jennifer Morrison. We're not sure which of these house stars called off their wedding, but after getting engaged, the couple did not make it down the aisle. The house co stars planned to get married in 2007, just months after Jesse proposed in Paris. But shortly before the wedding, the couple announced it was off. In a joint statement, they said, quote, After much consideration, we have decided not to get married. We are still very close, and we look forward to continuing to work together on house. I guess the tension between them translated over to the workplace because their characters got married, then divorced in the following season of the show. And at number 9, Marilyn Manson. Punk rock singer Marilyn Manson was left at the altar by Evan Rachel Wood in the move that would end their toxic relationship. The pair had been on and off basically their entire relationship, with them splitting up in 2008 for what we thought would be for good. But the couple ended up getting back together and even getting engaged while well on stage during a concert in Paris in 2010. But eight months later, Wood called off the engagement shortly before they were set to wed. Since breaking off the engagement, the couple did not get back together and moved on with other people. However, in the years that would follow, Wood started opening up about being in a toxic and harmful relationship in the past, but she would never say who that relationship was with. Until other women started coming out against Manson, then Wood took to Instagram to clarify that he also her. She is now a vocal part of the movement against him. And at number 8, Bristol Palin. Bristol Palin shook up the 2008 presidential election when her mother and vice presidential candidate, Sarah Palin, announced that her 17 year old unmarried daughter was pregnant. The wedding was set to take place after the election was over, and it would be between Bristol and her baby daddy, Levi Johnston. But after Palin lost the election, the pair did not go through with the wedding, leading some to believe the marriage proposal was all for political theater. Apparently, the engagement lasted only three weeks before it was called off. This was only the first time a wedding of Bristol's was called off. Her engagement to former Marine. Dakota Meyer also fell through. In a statement, Bristol said, quote, I guess you've seen by now that the wedding that was supposed to happen last weekend was called off. I'm sure you've seen this has been all over the media, but this is a painful time for family and friends, and I would just really appreciate your prayers. And at number 7, Demi Moore and Emilio Estevez. Way back in 1986, these two were said to be married at a lavish ceremony in a ritzy Bel Air estate. But shortly before it was said to happen, the pair decided to call off the wedding and remain friends. They got engaged after only six months of dating, after meeting on the set of St. Elmo's Fire. She also revealed he is the main reason that she got sober. She wrote, quote, Emilio and I started dating seriously after I got sober. We were together for six months and then we got engaged and I moved in with him to his condo in Malibu. He was very, very sweet, very attentive, and looking back, I think a major factor in how quickly we moved was that I was craving a family and he had a close relationship with his. After splitting, Demi moved on quickly with Bruce Willis, marrying him in the next year. And at number 6, Carson Daly and Tara Reid. Another unlikely pairing, but these two got engaged in 2000 after 17 months of dating, but they never made it to the altar. At first, the wedding was pushed back while well, they tried to figure out how they wanted to move forward. But not long after, they decided to cancel the wedding altogether. Years later, Tara admitted that she regretted not marrying him because she feels her life would be in a better place now if she had. She said, quote, I think if I would have married Carson, I'd probably have kids by now. I wouldn't have had all that crazy partying. My life would have been completely different. I've never loved anyone the way that I loved him. Carson says he dodged a bullet by not getting engaged to Tara. He told Elle in 2013, quote, To some extent, I dodged a bullet. I was getting serious about my career, and she wanted to shoot movies and just party in her time off. That didn't work for me. He then decided to date a non-famous woman. Halfway number 5, Gwyneth Paltrow and Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt was at the center of a marriage scandal before the infamous cheating scandal between him, Angelina Jolie, and Jennifer Aniston. These two met early in their careers on the 1995 movie Seven. The couple were smitten and planned to get married in East Hampton, New York in the summer of 1997. But before the big day came, Paltrow decided she was not ready. She said she was too young for that big of a commitment. Adding, quote, I just made a big mess of it and I was very upset for a long, long time about it. Before the big day, Brad seemed very excited to get married, telling Rolling Stone, quote, I can't wait to walk down the aisle, wear the ring, kiss the bride. After things ended with Gwyneth, he moved on to date a few other women before getting married to Jennifer Aniston. And I think we all know the mess that happened after that. And at number four, Sienna Miller and Jude Law. This pair seemed destined to be together forever. They dated for two years before getting engaged, but before they were officially married, Sienna Miller decided to call off the engagement in July of 2005. She had learned that Jude Law was having an affair with the nanny and no longer wanted to be with him. They remained apart for many years after until they shockingly got back together in 2009. They started dating again and were getting pretty cozy together. It was even rumored that they might be engaged once again and planning a 2010 wedding in France. 
but that did not happen and they split for a second time in 2011. In at number 3, Maria Sharapova and Sasha Vujakic. The tennis star and the LA Lakers player got engaged in October of 2010 and planned to get married in 2012 in a ceremony in Istanbul. But before the wedding came, it was called off. Both parties were pretty silent on the matter until Maria was asked about it during a press conference and confirmed they were no longer together. She replied, quote, It's been since the end of spring. I was waiting for someone to actually ask me that question. She added that she is generally pretty private about these things, but felt the public should know since the couple openly talked about their engagement. Maria added, quote, I've never really been the person to announce things. I never announced when we were together or never announced when we were engaged. I never have in any of my previous relationships as well. She added that their busy schedules made it hard to be together, and his move to Turkey was the final nail in the coffin. And at number 2, Paul Walker. The Fast and Furious actor is best known for his role as Brian O'Connor and for tragically passing away in a car accident. Little known fact about him is that he was left at the altar by his daughter's mother before she was born. But after she found out she was pregnant, they got back together and stayed together for some time with their daughter Meadow. After their split, Meadow and her mother moved to Hawaii and had little contact with Paul. This all took place before he got fast in the Furious role. Years later, after Paul Walker passed away, his daughter Meadow got engaged, and Vin Diesel, his co-star, walked her down the aisle, which was really, really cute. And finally, number one, Shakira. The Colombian singer is another celebrity that was left at the altar, and sadly, it was a devastating moment in her life. Before meeting her longtime partner, Gerard Pique, she was in another long-term relationship with lawyer Antonio de la Rua. The pair were together for a long time, so after some time, they decided to make things official and get married. But unfortunately, two weeks before they were set to tie the knot, he ended the relationship. Since Shakira is currently not married to the man that she's been with for over 12 years and shares two children, children with, it's clear that her fiancé leaving her at the altar has had a permanent impact. It seems she has no plans to get married in the future. When speaking about it in an interview, she revealed, quote, to tell you the truth, marriage scares the shit out of me. And at number 10, John Cena and Nikki Bella. It seemed like everyone was rooting for these two. After four years of being together, Cena proposed in 2017 at WrestleMania 33. They seemed like the perfect match, both top wrestlers. But the relationship did not work out, and only weeks before the wedding was set to take place, Bella called off the wedding. In a statement at the time, they said, quote, While this decision was a difficult one, we continue to have a great deal of love and respect for one another. We ask that you respect our privacy during this time in our lives. It was reported that they got back together for a short time in 2018 and tried to make things work. But by July of 2018, they were officially over. Bella moved on quickly and in 2019, she started dating her now husband, who she now shares a child with. And at number 9, Johnny Depp and Winona Ryder. Johnny and Winona are my favorite 90s couple and it still breaks my heart that they didn't end up together. They met at a movie premiere in 1990 and he claims it was love at first sight. They only dated for 5 months before getting getting engaged because they were so sure of the relationship. But it seems it was too quick after all, as they broke off their engagement after three years of being together. Maybe the wedding was stalled because they were not sure if getting married was the right decision. At the time of their engagement, Depp said, quote, There's been nothing in my 27 years that's comparable to the feeling I have with Winona. To profess his love further, he got a tattoo of her name on his arm. It said, Winona forever. But after their split, it now says, Why no forever? In 2011, Ryder began a relationship with Scott McKinley Hahn, a designer. Depp then married Amber Heard, who is fighting in court following their split. In at number 8, Kyle MacLachlan and Linda Evangelista. These stars met during a photo shoot in 1992 and instantly hit it off. The model and actor became a beloved item in Hollywood, with Evangelista upping his reputation in the fashion world. This couple dated for 6 years. During this time, they decided to take things to the next level and get engaged. But shortly before the wedding, he ended the relationship. After making the tough decision, he said, quote, I didn't really want to get married as I couldn't see the point and the relationship wasn't really going anywhere. He told the Evening Standard. I'm sure he and Evangelista had very different thoughts on the relationship near the end. He moved on with an actress he met while filming Sex in the City, and they now share a child together. And at number 7, Kesha Nicole Nichols. San Antonio Spurs forward Richard Jefferson broke up with his fiance, Ned Stancer, Kesha Nicole Nichols, at the altar. In 2009, just hours before the $2 million ceremony was set to begin, he decided to send Nichols an email telling her it was over. Can you imagine getting broken up with via email on the day of your wedding? Like, what kind of person could even do that? Guests and family were absolutely stunned at the news, but apparently Jefferson tried to make it better by letting his guests use his black Amex card for the evening. I'm not sure how this is logistically possible, but I'm sure he spent a ton of money on that card. Apparently, Jefferson felt so bad about putting Kesha in that position, he ended up giving her a quote, six figure settlement to help her move on. She later starred on TV's Basketball Wives, so thankfully it wasn't all for nothing. And at number six, Jarrett Stoll. 
Just two months before the couple had planned to marry in an August 2009 wedding, the hockey player dumped model Rachel Hunter. Reportedly, this was another case where the man ended the engagement through an email. I can't believe how awful that would be. This email was addressed to Rachel and all of their guests, where he wrote that he would no longer be going through with the marriage. Sources said Rachel was in the midst of wedding planning when she got the bad news. After the split, Rachel's rep asked the media to respect her privacy during that extremely upsetting time. Halfway number five, Janine. Turner. Before his marriage to Hilaria, Alec Baldwin left his fiance Janine Turner at the altar. These stars got engaged in 1983, way back when they were in their 20s, and both were struggling actors trying to make their mark on the business. Shortly before the day of the marriage, Alec realized that he couldn't go through with it. Even though Turner claimed the decision was mutual, she had already picked out her dress and had sent out the wedding invites, meaning it was probably not as mutual as they wanted it to seem. She later revealed, quote, the breakup was very, very painful. For some payback, she actually pawned the engagement ring for some quick cash. This happened right before getting her breakout role on Northern Exposure. In at number 4, Petra Nemkova and Jamie Bellman. This is another case where we have no idea who is responsible for the engagement ending, but all we know for sure is that it did. Swimsuit model Petra Nemkova got engaged to actor Jamie Bellman in January of 2011, many years after her previous fiance tragically passed away in a tsunami in 2004. She had everything planned and was telling the media all the details of her lavish ceremony, including the fact that she was set on wearing a Marquesa wedding dress. But then out of nowhere, the couple announced in a joint statement that they would not be getting married after all. A statement from the couple's team read, quote, Petra Nemkova and Jamie Bellman confirmed their separation. They remain close friends and thank their families for their continued support during this time. And at number three, Evan Peters and Emma Roberts. These two were the definition of a toxic relationship, on and off for their entire relationship. The two met on the set of American Horror Story and dated for a little over a year before he proposed in December of 2013. Then a year and a half later, the relationship and engagement were officially over. A source close to the couple said, quote, their three years together just ran its course. They have so many great memories together but couldn't make it work in the end. The breakup was amicable. There's no drama whatsoever. But there was more drama. They got back together and broke up again two more times before they officially ended the relationship in March of 2019. During their relationship, it was also reported that Roberts was arrested and taken into custody for hitting Peters during a fight. In 2013, police was called after someone reported a fight in the couple's hotel room and found Peters with a bloody nose. In number two, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. This relationship was incredibly chaotic, and it was almost clear from the start that they were not going to work out. After a messy split from her longtime boyfriend Mac Miller, Ariana started dating SNL comedian Pete Davidson after appearing on the show. The couple were incredibly hot and heavy, and seemed to be obsessed with one another. Ariana even dedicated a song to Pete on her album Sweetener. Only after a few weeks of dating, Pete Davidson proposed to Ariana Grande in June of 2018. Absolutely nobody could believe what was happening. But after the sudden passing of Mac Miller, the relationship was on the rocks, and it was clear Ariana was getting doubts. By October of 2018, their engagement ended. A source said about the split, quote, it was way too much too soon. It's not shocking to anyone. After the breakup, he became a laughing stock to Ariana fans, with many saying he messed up the best thing that ever happened to him. But he didn't stay down for long, and he's now known to date some of the most beautiful women in the world. Finally, number one, Lady Gaga and Christian Carino. Lady Gaga is a hopeless romantic who keeps getting engaged, but has sadly never made it down the aisle. Lady Gaga and talent agent Christian Carino first stepped up together in February of 2017 after months of engagement rumors. The pair confirmed their engagement in October of 2018, but only a few months later it was announced that the relationship was over. Many insiders blame Carino for the end of the relationship. Gaga broke it off after he got too possessive. Sources said, quote, Chris didn't treat Gaga very well towards the end of their relationship. Another source said, quote, he was jealous. He was trying to find her all the time and texted her a lot. Her friends didn't like him either. This was her second failed engagement. The star was engaged to longtime partner Taylor Kinney, but after getting engaged, they split almost a year after. Gaga confirmed the breakup in a 2016 Instagram post, writing, quote, Taylor and I have always believed we are soulmates. Just like all couples, we have ups and downs and we have been taking a break. Then in her Netflix documentary, Five Foot Two, Gaga admitted that she thought her success ended the relationship. She said, quote, I did a movie and lost Taylor. This is the third time I've had my heart broken like this. Starting off with number 10, Julia Roberts and Kiefer Sutherland. The fact that these two even dated at one point in time is a shock to me. But back in 1991, the pair were engaged and headed for marriage. They met on the set of Flatliners and quickly fell in love. They were set to get married in a lavish ceremony at the 20th Century Fox soundstage, not exactly sure why, but that was the decision. However, the wedding did not end up happening. Three days before the wedding, Julia got cold feet and decided she didn't want to marry Sutherland. 
On June 14th, the day Julia was supposed to marry Kiefer, she decided to instead travel to Ireland with a friend. Kiefer was shocked with the sudden decision and later called the split painful. Thankfully, the pair did move on and got married to other people years later. In at number 9, Hugh Hefner and Crystal Harris Hugh Hefner is not the type of man you would expect to get married. But after having a falling out with Holly Madison and the other girls next door, Hef decided to settle down with Crystal Harris. They planned to get married in June of 2011, but shockingly, Crystal was the one who decided to back out only five days before. Hugh decided to take the news lightly and jokingly tweeted, quote, Crystal has had a change of heart and scheduled a screening of the movie Runaway Bride at the Playboy Mansion. However, the pair managed to get back together and they planned a second wedding, which both parties attended. They officially got married on New Year's Eve of 2012, when Crystal was 26 and Hugh was 86, and she remained his wife up until he passed away at the age of 91. In at number 8, Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck These two looked like they were a perfect match and were so in love. Ben proposed with a massive $1.2 million, 6.1 carat pink diamond, and they invited all their celebrity friends to their lavish September 14th, 2003 ceremony. But they did not end up getting married. After cheating allegations against Affleck became public, Affleck called off the wedding. At first, they just postponed the wedding, but shortly after, it was completely called off. A Canadian dancer came forward and claimed she hooked up with Ben while they were together. In her memoir, Lopez admitted that, quote, It felt like my heart had been torn out of my chest. She was obviously devastated. Even more devastating was how quickly Ben moved on with Jennifer Gardner. When Ben and Jen married in the Turks and Caicos Islands in June of 2005, Gardner was already four months pregnant with their first child, Violet. JLo then went on to marry Mark Anthony. However, both of these marriages ended in divorce, and in a shocking twist, Benefer is now back on. And it seems like they are more in love than ever. Maybe they'll walk down the aisle again. In at number 7, Alyssa Milano and Scott Wolf. Alyssa Milano has dated quite a few actors over the years. She's even joked in the past that her dating history is longer than her IMDb profile. Some of her past suitors include Justin Timberlake, Eric Dane, and David Arquette. One of her longest was with Scott Wolf. They met in June of 1993 on the set of Double Dragon. And only two months later, they decided to move in together. Things kept going well, so they decided to seal the deal and get engaged only four months after meeting. The relationship was incredibly fast paced, so it was no surprise when it fizzled out. Shortly after the engagement, they decided to call it off and end their relationship. Milano moved on and now has a son and daughter with her agent husband of nearly nine years, David Bulgari. Wolf married the Real World New Orleans alum Kelly Marie Limp in 2004, and the couple have three children together. And at number six, Tate Donovan and Jennifer Aniston. Before Jen Aniston was in her marriages to Brad Pitt and Justin Thoreau, she dated fellow actor Tate Donovan. Things were pretty serious between the pair, and they dated for three years before getting engaged in 1998. The engagement did not last long before they decided to end things. But the awkward twist happened when Donovan was cast as their love interest in the show Friends. He was cast as Joshua opposite Aniston, who played Rachel Green, and they played love interest for multiple episodes. Donovan said about the casting quote, It was horrible. It was so tough. I remember getting back to my dressing room and just weeping. Aniston later married Brad Pitt. After getting divorced because of cheating rumors, Aniston married Justin Thoreau in her home in Bel Air in 2015. Halfway number 5, Alanis Morissette and Ryan Reynolds Before Ryan Reynolds got married to Blake Lively, he had a long-term relationship with Alanis Morissette. These two Canadian celebrities met at Drew Barrymore's birthday party in 2002 and instantly hit it off. They were so smitten they decided to get engaged to years later. Morissette was smitten. In a 2005 interview, she said, quote, He's just such a supportive creature. I feel so loved by him, in a trampoline kind of way. He's always very happy for me. The pair never ended up walking down the aisle. They never even set a date for their wedding, which was definitely a red flag. In February of 2007, their reps announced the split. They both moved on and dated other people. Reynolds is now married to Blake Lively, and they share two children. In at number four, Robin Wright and Ben Foster. Before this relationship started, Robin Wright was married to Sean Penn, but they got divorced in 2010. Shortly after this, Wright started dating actor Ben Foster. They dated for a few years, then got engaged in early 2014. But by November, the marriage had been called off. After spending some time apart, the couple realized they wanted to give things another shot, so they got engaged once again in January 2015, but broke up for good in August. So not only was one engagement ended, the second one also fell through. But it was all for the best, because both people moved on to other marriages. In at number three, Katie Holmes and Chris Klein. Before she married megastar Tom Cruise, Katie dated fellow actor Chris. The cute couple got engaged on Christmas of 2003, but eventually ended their relationship in March of 2005 after five years together, just a month after Chris was busted for drunk driving in San Diego. 
Chris later shrugged, quote, We grew up. We weren't lighting each other's fire anymore. And someone else was clearly lighting Katie's fire. Only weeks after breaking up with Chris, Katie made her first public appearance with Tom Cruise. Tomcat then divorced after a six year marriage. In at number two, Lance Armstrong and Cheryl Crow. This couple came as a bit of a shock to me, and I guess it proved that you should never try to marry a rebound. Lance Armstrong divorced from his first wife in September of 2003, and shortly after this, he started dating singer Cheryl Crow. Nobody was sure if they would stand the test of time because this was very clearly a rebound relationship for Lance. To everyone's shock, the new couple got engaged in September of 2005 and started planning a Santa Barbara wedding. But by February of 2006, the couple was done, and they decided to end their engagement. In his 2009 biography, Lance admitted that they wanted different things. He wrote, quote, She wanted marriage. She wanted children. I didn't want that at the time because I had just gotten out of a marriage. I just had kids. The pair both moved on years later and both ended up having two children with other partners. And finally, number one, Jesse James and Kat Von D. This couple was the definition of messy, and thankfully they did not end up together, because it most likely would have been very toxic. After getting in a very public scandal when he cheated on his ex-wife, Sandra Bullock, Jesse James moved on with celebrity tattoo artist Kat Von D. They first got together in 2010 and were engaged by January of 2011. We got to see the ins and outs of the wedding planning on her reality TV show, LA Inc. But before they could get married, they broke up. But like I said, this couple is messy, so they got back together and broke up once again, being officially over in September of 2011. It was later revealed that the reason for the breakup was cheating rumors. Really, who is shocked? That was not the last time the cat went into a relationship before marriage, though. She was engaged to music producer Deadmau5 after her split from Jane's, but she also ended that engagement.